What's going on guys, it's Krom. Today I've been using the Maximum Recoil AK-47. I know it's kind of a meme at this point in the community. You can get a bayonet for it? It's kind of a meme at this point in the community, but I've been seeing people talking about the Maximum Recoil AK-47. Basically, you just equip all the attachments that make your recoil worse. So for that, I'm using the 8.1 inch compact barrel, and I'm also using the no stock attachment. And I have a couple other attachments on here too. Slide of hand for faster reloads, stippled for even faster ADS time, and then an optic on here because the iron sights on this, in my opinion, are terrible. And I need to level the thing up anyway, so I figured why not make it enjoyable. And by enjoyable, I mean not super awesome. I will say, at long range, this is terrible. If I were to try and take this into war, Warzone, it would be terrible. Emphasis on the T. But I mean, in multiplayer so far, it hasn't been that bad. And honestly, the AK hits really hard. I have not minded it whatsoever. I don't think there's anything else on here that I can do to hurt myself. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. And then as a secondary, I'm using the Dragon of because I do need to get it leveled up a little more. Specifically, I need mount kills with it, but if I'm running around and I see a sniper out, I'll just pull this out and pop him really quick. And then I'm using Quick Fix, Overkill, and Amped. Semtexes and snapshots. I've been switching back and forth between the snapshots and the stims. I'm not huge on the snapshots because I feel like they're a little cheesy, but with how campy people are in this game, I don't really have a choice. And we've just been doing 10v10, trying to keep the good stuff going, so here we are. So, update on the vape juice scenario. We went to go get juice from another friend. My brother brought his uh, empty bottle with him so we could get a little bit of juice filled up in it. This one also had holes. And it leaked. We did not have the magic cheese wax because we took a different car. So I guess now his car just smells like apples. Oh, I'm running out of ammo. What do we got here? This one's out of ammo too. Shit. Okay. That's been my biggest problem with this AK so far, I just keep running out of ammo. Nope. The moment the RPGs come out, I'm done peeking. Not even pre-fire, it's post-fire. I knew your ass was gonna peek again. Um, hello? What the fuck? I will say the AK feels very inconsistent. Sometimes it feels like it hits like a freight train, and other times it feels like nothing's happening. That's right, I remember when I first played, it's not a big deal. It's pubs, dude, chill out. People in here talking about how, oh shit, that was easy. Wow, easy game, easy clip, get wrecked, nerds. Like, I get shit talking, but like, congratulations, you top fragged in a public match. Go play CDL or something, go win some money, buy yourself a cheap Super 8 hotel room alongside a fucking Burger King takeout, maybe some Dairy Queen dessert topping, and then talk.
dun 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 I have a wheel sin, you're gonna die. I'm not, I'm not dealing with all these campers, that's not happening. You play multiplayer because you're sick of all the camping in Warzone, and then people just sit in buildings with proximity mines and claymores and ghost because ghost works when you're sitting still. Not like it matters because the radar doesn't even work like it's supposed to. According to Infinity Ward, it works great. It works exactly as they want it to, or at least how they developed it to. I don't know how much of these awful decisions are because of Infinity Ward and how many of them are because of Activision. I know that Activision's the one that pays them, so regardless, I hate it. And don't even get me started with the skill-based matchmaking. It is so incredibly backwards to create a game that rewards you for doing poorly. When I go negative in a match and I get my shit rocked, I'm excited because I know that my next game will be a little easier. Fuck all that. Bring back the old days where every match was random. Sometimes you would get into matches with just the sweatiest basement dwelling fucking creatures. Other times you'd be getting into lobbies with people who just got the game and like, don't get me wrong, that's not fair to them. But I don't care. If you're gonna have skill-based matchmaking, then put it into a ranked mode. There's no point to me trying in this game if I don't know how my skill is compared to other players. KD isn't relevant because the range of things changes so often game to game. Of course I'm gonna have a bad KD if I sweat all the time because I'm only gonna be put up against CDL wannabes. Score per minute doesn't even work because that just means that you're either getting kills or playing objective. People do that all across skill levels. When loss doesn't matter because it comes back to skill based matchmaking. Give me a rank if you're going to make me play this sweaty. I don't know man, I think I'm gonna go back to Rainbow Six Siege here soon. I played that game for months, I loved it, I solo queued to plat and then after that I just I got this game and it was fun and I can't stop I want to stop but I can't god I missed that game 
See, Rainbow Six is a game where, yes, it's sweaty, and, like, the only things available in that game are sweaty. I, I do wish that they had, like, a less sweaty mode, like a deathmatch or something. They had a temporary killed confirmed game mode. I unfortunately missed out on playing that because I didn't even realize that it existed until after that playlist was over. And I'm really bummed because that's something that I think Siege needs. Just something to warm up your shooting, get your gunfight skills back on point. Am I ever gonna find a match? Cranked, though, I'm really excited about this. Cranked and shoot house? This is my, this is my speed. And actually, I'm gonna take sleight of hand off of my AK and throw the 40 round mags on. Or maybe I could do the drum mags. Okay, let's try this. How ridiculous does this look? Jesus. I remember that I have 75 bullets to work with and you quit reloading when I don't need to. This little thing looks ridiculous, I gotta say. Bill is using the monocle reflex? I'll give that a shot. Sure, we'll do a tan one. I'm a huge fan of this carrot reticle. I don't really have like a recommendation on like the best reticles or anything. I just prefer ones that feel better to me. And I like the carrot because it's a lot easier to line up my upper chest and headshots. I'll tell you what I don't like, and that's the like stuff like this or like the default reticle on the hollow sites. I don't like ones that are really big and take up a fair bit of the dead center of the um, reflex site or hollows, I suppose, in that case. I like having a nice, clear sight picture. No extra bullshit. Hey. Michael here. I love that man. Damn, this looks good. Maybe I should use this more often. We'll see how it feels, I suppose. Chill out, Chrom. You have a 75 round mag. Nothing to worry about. Besides getting shot in the back. How did I know he was still going to be holding that angle, man? That's just ridiculous. That's why you always let your teammates go first. But yeah, guys, that's about it for today. I'm going to grind out the AK a little bit more try and get some of these challenges done. All things considered, the maximum recoil AK-47, not as bad as I thought it would be. I have a feeling that on controller it would probably be a lot worse, but I mean, that's on controller. Nothing wrong with controller players for the record, and no, I'm not one of those people who thinks that PC's better in every aspect. Hardware-wise, absolutely. Skill-wise, no. I ran into multiple console players and people who use a controller on PC who absolutely decimate me. But yeah, guys, if you liked the video, you know what to do. Otherwise, GG's. Have a good one.